Salve Maria! Today we have a question from the students of Lumen Veritatis Academy. It's a great question and we found a really good answer. Now the question that they asked was, why did the devil revolt? So the answer we find today is taken from the Catechism of the Catholic Church and the Catechesis on the Angels by Blessed Pope John Paul II. The Church teaches us that this being, this fallen angel that we know as the devil or Satan, were created good angels. And I quote from the Catechism of the Catholic Church, The devil and the other demons were indeed created naturally good by God, but they became evil by their own doing. Scripture speaks of a sin, of a shortcoming, a fall, that consists of free choice that these created spirits committed. This fall radically and irrevocably rejected God and His reign. It is the irrevocable character of their choice and not a defect in the infinite divine mercy that makes the angels' sin unforgivable. There is no repentance for the angels after their fall, just as there is no repentance for man after death. We find a reflection of that rebellion in the tempter's words to our first parents. You will be like God. The devil has sinned from the beginning. He is a liar. He is the father of all lies. As a result of the sin of our first parents, this fallen angel has acquired dominion over man to a certain extent. St. John also teaches us about the presence of Satan in the history of humanity. A presence which becomes more and more acute when, when man and society depart themselves from God. The devil and his interests are much better for him when he is unknown. Satan has the skill in the world to induce people to deny his existence in the name of rationalism and of every other system of thought which seeks all possible means to avoid recognizing his activity. This, however, does not signify the elimination of man's free will and responsibility, and even less the frustration of the saving action of Christ. It is rather a case of conflict between the dark powers of evil and the powers of redemption. The words that Jesus addressed to Peter at the beginning of the Passion were, Simon, behold, Satan has tried to sift you like wheat, but I have prayed for you that your faith may not fail. Whatever you do, think not of yourself, but of God. St. Vincent Ferrer. Thank you very much for watching. Salve Maria.